Okay, great. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Deb Swanton, Dean of the School of Sports Science. Welcome to our webinar in celebration of Accepted Students Day. I'm joined today by Dr. Kevin Rooney, Program Director of Exercise Science, Dr. Alyssa Zarnicki, Chair, well not Chair, but Faculty of Sport Management, and we have a student, Mackenzie Salt, who is a third year student in the Exercise Science Program. In this webinar, we will be providing information on the innovative and dynamic academic offerings that we have, and also the extracurricular activities that really add tremendous value to the Endicott education. We'll also highlight our successes of our alumni and current students, and uh, provide other examples, what makes Endicott unique and what sets us apart um, from other programs. Throughout the presentation, we'll have the opportunity to ask questions, but in addition, we have highlighted frequently asked questions in order to provide information to you. So within the School of Sports Science, you can see we have majors in exercise science, pre-professional athletic training, exercise science, and sport management. We also have minors in e-sport management, exercise science, and nutrition and wellness. E-sport management is our newest minor, an innovative program that really speaks to the industry in this dynamic global phenomenon that's really growing. It's really setting Endicott apart and positioning our students for future endeavors within that field. We also have a coaching certification open to all students at the college. We also offer graduate programs in athletic training and MS in athletic training, which is currently within the three plus two model, which I'll talk about in a minute and also a Master of Science in Sport Leadership. Students also have the opportunity to um, participate in fifth year program options like the MBA, and that's also something students could pursue. So we are accredited by Cosmer and Katie for sport management and athletic training in that cheek college wide. It speaks to excellence in education. In addition, I think uh, the accrediting part of it and being accredited and stepping out and your curriculum is um, based off of standards, but it's also about your faculty and about meeting different areas of expertise. And you can see the faculty of the School of Sports Science. We are going to highlight a few faculty today. We led to excellent teaching. We to highlight Dr. Gentilly, who is a published author of two books currently, and is currently um, working on her third book. Um, related to eSport management. She is a leader in that field and she is one of the people or one of the faculty who really spearhead for us in that area. Dr. Katie Kilty has done a lot of work related to global and multidisciplinary approaches in sport management, whether it's courageous leadership or different um, events that we have on our campus in collaboration with other areas. One of them is the STEM area with Dr. Jessica Ventura. So just to be able to speak globally and understand the governing bodies of sport and understand that sport can do so much, but social change is really another big aspect of our program. Dr. Nastasi and, and Professor Mickey also spearhead a student advocacy group, and this is a new group that was just established on our campus. And they started this in order to really look at issues facing the sports science discipline in society and really advocating for what the School of Sports Science believes should be, should be within that area based on evidence and best practice. So it teaches our students how to advocate for what they believe in related to their discipline and also speak at different conferences and network with other groups. If you look at all of our programs, uh, there's so many unique and incredible aspects and things that set us apart. Of course, we're a liberal arts institution that also has the professional studies embedded within that with an amazing general education curriculum that allows students to work on their critical thinking, problem solving, and devising solutions. We also have our students take major courses, first year, first semester, so they really develop that foundation and strong base, and they're able to apply those uh, upper level um, competencies at a, quicker, quick, at a much quicker pace and tie that all into internship and thesis. So if you can speak to an expert area within your discipline when you're going for a job or utilizing something in graduate school, it really sets us apart. I'm going to speak a little bit about the Exercise Science Pre-Professional Athletic Training Program that just received our accreditation by Katie and there are a number of strengths listed related to the expert piece of the faculty and the collaboration we have with our physicians 
but basically students can earn a BS in exercise science and an MS in athletic training within five years of study. So because of the exercise science base, students can add a number of different additions number of different certifications that would really add tremendous value to their education. They'll also have three major internships um, within that time frame before they even get to the, the two-year MSAT part of the curriculum where they will have additional experiences. Our BOC pass rates are above the national average. Our students are extremely successful. It's a very well-respected program, and I'm very, um, we're very happy about all of the areas and all the contributions our students and alumni have made to the profession. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the, about the curriculum in a sense where it is spread out. Students can do this. The three plus two model is exceptional and really speaks to the Endicott mission of the experiential learning, the clinical education, the study abroad, all those aspects that go into it. But if you look at the curriculum, there's 131 credits where students will earn their degree, but there's three years of classes, then one summer and one fall, and you earn your BS in exercise science. Then you continue with the spring, a brief summer experience, which is, which is just a clinical experience, just, uh, the second summer, and then you finish up strongly um, in that second year. We also wanted to highlight to you a little bit about what our students do beyond the classroom because it's more than just the curriculum, it's about everything else that could, students can do to just gain experience within their discipline but also grow personally and professionally. So we have the Athletic Training Club which does so many things on our campus, but we also host students to go to different conferences with us. So you can see photos of the um, National Athletic Trainers Association Conference in Las Vegas. We also have alumni functions there, so our students can net network with our alumni. They participate in quiz bowls. They host a number of guest speakers with our physicians and other professionals in the field. Okay, now Dr. Rooney, I'll turn it over to you to provide some highlights related to exercise science. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Kevin Rooney. I'm the program director for our exercise science program and the clinical coordinator for our athletic training program. Our exercise science program has an immense focus on human health, wellness, and performance, and allows our students the ability to sit for uh, various certifications from the National Strength and Conditioning Association, the uh, National Academy of Sports Medicine, or the American College of Sports Medicine. Um, students within our major typically aspire to pursue careers in strength and conditioning, human performance, uh, nutrition, cardiac rehab, as well as graduate school options in physical therapy, occupational therapy, and physician assistant. Uh, we're extremely excited to offer our uh, allied health concentration this coming uh, fall for students interested in PT, OT, and PA. So the curriculum uh, still provides the same rigor as our exercise science curriculum, but gives students the flexibility to achieve or complete their prerequisite coursework needed for graduate admissions. Uh, you can see here that our students are in every segment or many segments of the industry. Um, and you can also see that there's a number of very high profile organizations here as well. Uh, you know, MGH, uh, Spalding, Sports Medicine North, Harvard, Northeastern, just to name a few. Um, these programs and organizations really understand our curriculum and respect the knowledge of our students. Oftentimes these internship opportunities will segue maybe into a, a job opportunity or even uh, a graduate school admissions. Uh, just recently uh, we learned that three of our students were accepted into the physical therapy program at MGH, and I'm sure we'll be hearing from several more over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, we have a very active exercise science club. Again, our club is an excellent way to immerse yourself uh, in the major and begin networking with your peers and other professionals from the field. Our club attends conferences, regularly hosts alumni panels, career panels, lectures, um, and participates in many other activities across our campus. And here's just a few examples of some things we've done recently. And here's our human performance lab. We're really excited and proud of our human performance lab. Our lab is an opportunity for our students to practice with equipment uh, that they would see and experience uh, in the field. Um, 
you know, some examples of some piece of equipment that we have is our metabolic cart, a biodex balance machine, and our dynamometer. You know, this is all, uh, these are all vital tools that our students would see at their internship sites or at their jobs. And with the help of our faculty, our students get an immense amount of practice operating this equipment and interpreting its data and often using it in many of their thesis projects as they progress throughout the program. All in all, I would say, if, you know, as long as you take it, if you take advantage of the many opportunities that our program provides, many doors will open for you at the end. Um, at this time, I want to, I'd like to hand it over to Professor Zarnicki, who will uh, talk to you about sport management. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks, Dr. Rooney. Hello, Dr. Alyssa Zarnicki here. Thank you so much for joining us today. So as Dr. Rooney mentioned, I'm going to share with you a bit more about our beloved sport management major. Um, as you've heard thus far, the School of Sport Science takes a real holistic approach. Uh, to the academic study of sport, athletics, um, and physical activity. So you might want to know where we fit in as the major of sport management. So sport management looks at any and every business aspect of sport, athletics, and recreation. Our program combines sport management, business, and of course the liberal arts courses, plus valuable sports-related field experiences to truly help you enter and then succeed in such a competitive job arena. Our faculty continue to add innovative coursework aligning with industry standards and trends to provide you, the students, with practical skills to truly, again, compete in such a dynamic industry. So you will continue to see over the course of your four years here, new course offerings, course content, and also applied learning that's really specifically focused on innovation, technology, analytics, and also project management. So there's so much more to a degree and also a career in sport management um, than maybe first meets the eye. This industry takes hustle uh, and demand, excellent analytical thinking skills, communication skills, and also truly busy savvy. The industry is growing too, so that's good news for you also and your parents. Um, the US Labor uh, Statistics Bureau predicted that we're gonna see expansion um, this is due to multi-billion dollar profits in the industry and really what expansion means to you is uh, job opportunities if you're well-trained business-minded professionals um, and that's really what we'll do for you here at Endicott College and the field is vast so you can see here all of our students um, can be found working for professional teams or their parent programs so this is league governance like the MLB or the NFL uh, they're working for colleges and universities their sport managers, facility managers, their sport economics, sport broadcasters, sport information professionals. Some of them run front offices and or they work behind the scenes and interface between players and coaches and the media. So you will learn and gain exposure to all of these things, both in and out of the classroom. So at this point in the admissions process, I imagine you've heard quite a bit about our internship model. Um, but I do also want to share with you, um, as Dean Swanton and Dr. Rooney have, uh, that we are committed to the experiential learning as well. So this is typically referring to the learning that happens outside of our classroom walls. Um, these experiences and this exposure can ultimately really add value to your educational experience here and most certainly add value to your resume as well. So our faculty, uh, along with Kevin Komet, our internship uh, coordinator, and also active members of our sport management club, they plan a number of different events and opportunities each and every semester. So pictured here um, are our students learning and networking, um, and I imagine they're having a little bit of fun doing so. We didn't get to Vegas this past year, um, but we'll get there. Okay, so now we'll just take a few frequently asked questions quickly, because I know we want to maximize our time. So go ahead, please. So as a student athlete, how I manage my time. We just want to highlight that our students are very successful, whether they're an athlete or whether they're not an athlete. And there's tremendous support from our faculty if you are. And we really work closely with coaches, with the athletic director and others in order to maximize the student's potential to do well and succeed. Other than that, um, students can double major and study abroad. That's one of the major questions we get. So there is a study abroad session on Friday, but we work individually with students if they'd like to double major or study abroad options could be in all different locations. Next, please. So if you can see here a little bit where some of our students have gone, but England, Ireland, um, Australia, 
but we really work one-on-one, -on -one, our advisors and uh, as deans and chairs in order to maximize their potential. Other opportunities exist too, because we do have partnerships with other organizations. This group is the Youth Sport Trust from England, where we've had students go across to England to attend conferences and leadership academies, and we've had groups on our campus. There's also the spring break, alternative spring break option, and also options in January in the summer for international experience. I did go through this a little bit because you do get a major um, internship component with the exercise science pre-professional athletic training degree in the Bachelor of Science part. And your clinical experience begins the final two years and those will be at our affiliated sites. You can also complete clinical experiences um, within different states and internationally. Academic resources are tremendous at the college. A lot of our students are peer tutors, but there, is, there was a session on academic resources, but there's the support center, the writing center, um, advising services, and faculty really work hard to make sure you're aware of those services and that you take advantage of them. Senior thesis is amazing. It's one of the highlights of the college. It's a year long sequence. This is just a sampling of what our students have done related to senior thesis. And um, each year they just get better and better. They're more dynamic. We will be celebrating college-wide um, all of our students' accomplishments with a thesis conference. Every single spring we have that. And um, we're very fortunate that um, some, of the, some of the content here, and we do have these, we keep these on file for students to view and really um, grow from, the, from these um, topics. Now I'd like to introduce Mackenzie, who's our exercise science student for her perspective. Mackenzie? Hi everybody, my name is Mackenzie Saul. I am currently a junior exercise science major here at Endicott. Um, in addition, I am the exercise science club president right now, as well as a tour guide in the Office of Admissions. Um, with that being said, um, also next spring, I will be traveling to London to be part of the uh, Students Youth Sports Trust, which I am very excited for. Um, with that, my passion for this field in particular derives from myself being a scoliosis patient at Boston Children's for the past 12 years. Um, so with that, I've been exposed to variations of medical treatments. Um, then I have completed one internship so far at Spalding Outpatient with a physical therapy um, clinic. In addition, I am gaining um, my senior internship currently with a physician assistant, either in pediatrics or NICU, uh, which is very exciting to get towards. Um, but besides that, there is a lot of involvement here on campus within the exercise science club, the school itself, um, and all around the Endicott community. So a huge congratulations on your acceptance to Endicott and welcome to the nest. Thank you, Mackenzie. I just wanna say that I'm, I'm completing my 27th year at Endicott and it's been an amazing journey. And it is an incredible community to be a part of, but really what inspires me the most are the successes of students like Mackenzie or the successes of our alumni, which we hear about daily. And um, I just wanna feature some of those alumni now. So they're in all different segments of the industry. We'll do this somewhat quickly so we can get to questions. But if you look at different allied health fields or division one universities or DPT programs, our students are in every area sport management related programs as well, um, at all levels of sport, professional organizations, um, whether it's the Bruins Celtics or the Orlando Magic or the Red Sox. So we're very fortunate to have these students with us. They speak on alumni panels and they also, uh, some of them teach in our program in the professional seminars and bring that real valuable work experience back into the classroom. So at this time, uh, uh, let's please take some of your questions. Uh, Dr. Rooney, if you want to just um, let me know what they might be and we can see who would want to answer those. Sure. So several individuals had questions about which type of laptop was needed, whether it be Mac or PC for exercise science and sport management. Okay, I'm going to have um, Dr. Zarnacki answer that question, please. Um, so, I, I, you probably want me to tell you that you can tell your parents the most expensive and the most flashy newest edition um, that you can purchase. But uh, in fact, we certainly have students that are successful with both PCs and, um, and Macs. Um, I would definitely say that a, a, an actual device laptop um, with an operating system um, versus a, a, a mobile device, a Chromebook or, or an iPad, although those can definitely supplement your learning in the classroom. Um, you know, we, there are classes that you might run into that are going to 
require specific software. Um, but the great thing is that typically we have opportunities for you to download that software at no cost to you once you're an Endicott College student like the Microsoft Office um, suite. So PC, Mac, um, whatever is your preference in terms of operating system, um, and uh, lots of resources as well when you get here to, to, um, to um, enhance your technological experience here. Thank you. Dean Swanton, what if you've been accepted to another major and you want to change your major to something we're offering here in the School of Sports Science? Well, at this point, you contact the admissions office and they could assist you to do that. So um, it's best to do it as soon as you can. So we'll be ready to advise you um, correctly for what you aspire to do. Will exercise science meet all the prerequisites for physical therapy school? I, Go I, ahead, Dr. Rooney. Yeah, sure. Um, so our allied health curriculum will allow you the flexibility to get most, if not all of them, but uh, every school is different, so we work very closely with our advisee and which schools they're interested in applying to and creating that list uh, and determining which prerequisites are necessary, and then we figure out how that works within uh, their degree. Okay. Sorry, I'm scrolling. <laughs> I can add too that um, you know certainly a lot of those questions specific to what to bring to campus. Um, a lot of that stuff too we'll talk about during summer orientation. Is it hard for a student athlete to double major? It depends what sport it is. Double majors, I would look at it not that being an athlete, but I would look at it as what majors you're choosing to do because some of them are very rigorous, you know, with that combination. Students can take up to 18 credits a semester without additional tuition. So, but you have to consider some double majors, you might have to do summer courses and other things because you have to meet all major requirements for those programs as well as the gen ed core. So if you can budget your time and, and whatever season you're in, some se seasons are longer than others, and then there's a traditional season, um, anything is possible, I believe, but it, you'd have to work very closely with your advisors and, and really think about um, if that's a possible for you as an individual. Uh, would that affect what school I got into if I wanted to double major in sport management and accounting? Basically students um, choose a major and then so say you chose a major in sport management and then after the first semester you work with those deans in order to pick your double major. So you can't choose a double major upon entry. You need to perform you know uh, relatively well the first semester and have those meetings where both deans get together to devise that program. One of them will be the primary major and the second one will be the secondary major. So your internships will, you know, and, and thesis will relate to that primary major more so than the one that you choose as a second one, but they'll both be on your transcript as a double major at, at Endicott. Is it possible to do athletic training and become a PA on track at all at Endicott? And additionally, do both majors get hands-on experience working with athletes? Well, I think that's the most incredible combination that you could have if you want to become a PA because the skills that you develop in the, under, in the uh, graduate option for athletic training are just so beneficial to you as a physician's assistant. So our medical director, Dr. Fanel, has said that to us. His best PAs in his orthopedic practice are the ones who actually have the athletic training background. It is a commitment in a sense. So you'll, you'll have a master's degree, a bachelor's degree, and a master's degree within five years of study. And then you go on a PA school for two more years. It is well worth it. It will set you apart with all of your peers out there and make you the most amazing clinician. It's something that I would strongly advocate for and advise all of my students to do. When we is have time uh, for one? We have, go ahead. Uh, one when more? is summer orientation? Um, that was it. When is summer orientation? Summer orientation, there'll be information on that. It will be in June, um, the week of June 22nd, but there'll be more information on that through admissions. And that will be a time when you'll definitely meet more faculty and, and hear more about the great things of the School of Sports Science. We will also have registration and advising before that, which will begin at the end of May. So you'll be getting information on that very soon, okay? So please stay tuned and we'll definitely give you uh, more information on upcoming events. But I do want to end it by um, hoping and thanking you for attending our presentation, and I hope it was informative for you. I'd like to thank 
uh, Alyssa and Kevin and, and Mackenzie for their contributions and participation. It, the webinar has been recorded. So um, if you'd like to look at it uh, again, and, and, and then also you're very welcome to send us more questions. We're always open to those. So please send them to anybody, either through admissions or directly to us. And we'll be happy to answer those for you. So I look forward to seeing you in the fall. Take care and have a great day. Thanks again and congratulations on your acceptance. Thank you.